Marius in Groningen, Holland writes, on audio shows, you often see really big speakers powered by giant monoblocks with hundreds of watts of power. Do big speakers need more power than small bookshelf speakers? Does it predominantly depend on the efficiency of the speaker, or do big speakers need more headroom? The simple answer is no, they're the same. Big speaker, little speaker, doesn't matter the size of the cabinet at all. So a bookshelf speaker, something very small, let's say about that size, has the sensitivity at whatever it's rated for. So let's imagine that we have a pair of bookshelf speakers that are rated at 90 dB. Now that means in our rating system that if you put in one watt of power, you'll get out 90 dB of sound if you're standing three feet away from it. The same is true with a monster speaker the size of me, okay? If its sensitivity, its efficiency, its sensitivity is the same, 90 dB, and they're all rated, like our Aspen speaker. That Aspen speaker is quite large. It's, you know, like this tall, right? And 230-something pounds, it's, it's a mother. It's big. And that speaker is rated at about 88 dB, I think. And that's about the same as most bookshelves. So that means the Aspen, for the exact same amount of power, is going to play exactly the same loudness that a small bookshelf would play. And I know that's a hard concept for people. We've talked about this before, and I think it's worth talking about again and again and again. Maybe each time I'll say it slightly differently. It's important because it's hard for us to imagine. Take another example, a car. A little car takes less power than does a bigger, heavier car. That's not only true, it's just common sense. We know that it takes a certain amount of energy that we used to transfer to the wheels to make something turn. And we know that the power it takes to move a freight train is a hell of a lot more than it is to pull a little red wagon. That's just ingrained in us. A giant car takes more power than a little tiny Fiat clown car, right? It just does. And so it makes sense to us that a big giant speaker ought to take more power just because it's bigger. But at the end of the day, the, the real trick is not to look at the box. Look at what's in the box. So if you think about it, the opposite is actually true. So if we had a big old box and we had a single six and a half inch driver for the woofer and a single tweeter, that box would present so much less back pressure for the speaker moving that we could say it would be easier to make a more sensitive speaker in a giant box than it would to do the opposite. Because as this box gets smaller, the back pressure, the, the resisting force against that woofer gets greater because it's a smaller area. So it's harder to make a small speaker play as loud as a big speaker, but not because of the drivers, which are often exactly the same, but because of the size of the box. Does that make sense? All right. We'll keep at it. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later.